Here's how you create a color palette. Click the plus button to get some default colors to start your project with. Or select a couple of properties, layers, and even comps and extract a color palette from that selection. You can switch between color palettes using the drop down. Here's how you edit the colors of a palette. Click the edit button to make changes to the palette. The color palette you see in Ray is actually a composition stored in this folder. The color controls on the top layer in this comp will show up as color swatches in Ray Dynamic Color. This makes it easy to change colors and add new ones. Make sure that you refresh the script panel after making changes. Here's how you apply a color. Select any object in your scene and color it using the color swatch buttons. The color applied is now linked to the color palette with an expression. You can also change the color from here if you click on it and type the number of the color that you want and then press enter. Or use shift tab and then use the up and down arrow keys to toggle between the colors of your palette. Even with the ray expression applied, you can always pick colors that are not in the palette. You can also turn off the expression links if you don't want expressions in your color properties. This is how you unlink and link colors to a palette. The unlink button removes the expression from the color property completely. The link button links the color property to the current selected palette. If the color you want to link is not in the color palette, you have to add it first. And you can do that by holding shift while you click on the link button. This will add the color to the palette. This makes working with colors flexible because at any point you can unlink your colors and then link them back to the same or any other color palette with say a different color arrangement. This is how you can color shape layer strokes and fills individually and swap colors between two color properties. Click on the Color Modes button to toggle through the different color modes. In Fill Mode, you can color the fills of the shape layer individually. And in Stroke Mode, you can color the strokes individually. With the Swap button, you can swap the fill in the stroke settings and swap any other two color properties. In the Advanced menu, you can find more advanced coloring options. That's it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and there will be more advanced tutorials. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive updates for those.